Okay, so Jane Goodall, learning through observation. So from the time she was a child, Jane Goodall, who was born in 1934, she loved animals. Born in the English countryside, she was the happiest when she was outside with the horses, chickens, and other animals on the farm where she lived. Goodall read books about animals from other parts of the world. When she grew up, she wanted to study animals in the faraway land of Africa. Goodall made her first trip to Africa in 1957, when she was 23 years old. While she was there, she met a famous scientist named Dr. Louis Leakey. Dr. Leakey was a paleontologist. Who knows what a paleontologist does? Sandy. Find fossils. Yeah, they find fossils. They work with, um, with dinosaurs and learning about dinosaurs, right? So paleontologists study animals, plants, and people who lived millions of years ago. Leakey gave Goodall a job as his secretary. He then invited her to go on an archaeological dig in Tanzania, a country in eastern Africa. On the trip, Dr. Leakey told Goodall about some chimpanzees in the jungles of Tanzania. He wanted someone to study these animals and observe. What's observe mean? Jamie, watch. watch, look at how they behaved. He thought those observations could be used to answer questions about human behavior. Would Goodall like the job? Okay, so what? why do you think Leakey wanted to make a comparison between chimpanzees and humans? Why do you think he wanted to do that? Jamie. Humans. Jamie. Because, uh... Absolutely. People, there, there's research to support or one, one avenue of suspicion or one hypothesis, right, is that humans evolved from, from, from primates, right, from chimpanzees. So making a comparison between chimpanzees and humans could help potentially answer some of those questions yes yes it is a great idea absolutely and what harm is there in simply making observations and finding out what you can discover right there's no harm in it and simply observing and finding out what you learn Absolutely. There's absolutely harm if you end up damaging a sacred area. But if you're just observing, there shouldn't be any of that, especially if you're careful. Yes. Absolutely. Good call. So it says here, Goodall was thrilled at Leakey's offer. Kitana, put it away, please. All the way away. We're not writing notes. We're just listening. Put the marker away. Thank you. Goodall started her observations on June 20th, 1960, in Tanzania's Gombe Stream Chimpanzee Reserve. At first, the chimps refused to come out of the trees when they saw Goodall. She had to watch them through binoculars. It was hard for her to see well through the thick leaves and branches. Although Goodall was discouraged, she did not lose her patience. After a few months... Listen to this. After a few months, the chimpanzees began to accept her. They came out in the open and allowed her to watch them. Eventually, they became very trusting. They would come right up to Goodall and allow her to groom them. It was a sign of respect and affection. You guys, she was there for months before they even came up to her. Do you guys have the patience for that? No. 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 no, I don't. To sit there day after day for more than one month. So, like, if I went there in January and they just started coming up to me now. Can you imagine? Holy moly. No way. I would think I'm in the way. I would think I'm harming them. I would question whether or not I would should be there, right? I would think I would be doing so much harm to them that I would feel like I needed to leave. I could not be there. Also, to be perfectly honest, I would be bored and I would need to go do something else. 
Goodall became the first human to observe how chimpanzees raise their young in the wild. She spent her days and nights in the open watching the chimpanzees. She believed that the only way to find out how an animal really lives and behaves is to observe it in its natural environment over a long period of time. One day, Goodall saw a chimpanzee poke a long blade of glass, excuse me, long blade of grass into a termite mound. He ate the insects that clung to the grass when he pulled it out. Later, she saw some chimpanzees pulling leaves off a stick to make a termite catching tool. This was a startling discovery. Up until then, scientists knew that many animals use tools, but they had thought only humans could create tools. Was that true? No, clearly chimpanzees are creating tools, right? She was there with her little monkey friend. Yeah. Goodall's observations provided first-hand knowledge of chimpanzee society and behavior. She taught humans a great deal about these amazing animals. Goodall is still working with chimpanzees. She says there is so much to learn that she will never stop discovering new things about them. Jane Goodall's work shows how important observation is to scientific inquiry. By going into the wild and observing the chimpanzees in their natural habitat, she was able to learn things about them that no other scientist had known before. Okay, so then here's your questions to explore. Do these questions look familiar? Take a break, please. Do these questions look familiar? No. They should. Your answer should be yes. Yeah, so these are the questions that you have to post or that you have to answer from that are in your Tuesday, Wednesday folder. Okay, so what steps are involved in scientific inquiry? What is a variable? And what is important to remember when you conduct a controlled experiment? Okay, so questions one, two, and three. Yeah.